Hi. I've just been watching a demonstration of Patrick Blake Greaves uh, uh, painting Porth Leven in Cornwall. This is uh, Watergate Bay looking north, well, looking to the right anyway. Uh, Watergate Bay looking towards uh, Padstow uh, or well, Constantine Bay round the corner, Porth. Very, very lovely, fabulous beach, and the, the tide comes right in and goes right out. As you can see here, it's it's low tide there. Uh, I usually pick mussels off the off the rocks up here, but very low tide, and you get some nice sized ones. There used to be a lady that uh, used to live in the cliffs there. She built a shack out of driftwood and plastic waste and all sorts of things and she 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 didn't have to live there I, don't, I believe she, her daughter lives in Cornwall uh, sorry in Newquay which is the, the nearest large town which is about five miles behind this way um, and uh, some vandals uh, smashed it up one one day one night it's a shame she wasn't harming anybody and she, she'd been on television as being a, an eccentric but she's a very doughty lady but anyway I'm going to have a go at doing something like that, but I'm going to see if I can put in a, some waves or some, some higher tide and not show all this beach. So, I'll come back to uh, my... I've had to put the lights on, it's got very dull and, and uh, heavy showery day now. Like, it's done its worst up in Cumbria and it's... It's coming down here now, to the south of London. Right, okay, so I, I've got some overhead spots on, so you, it's a, just a bit more colourful with a bit of light in the room. Okay, so I'll wet the paper all over. Oh dear, I didn't clean my brush. But never mind, it doesn't matter, I'm going to put a small bit sort of heavier sky using burnt umber and uh, ultramarine. But I want the paper to be, be soft. It's, Patrick was de demonstrating on the arches, arch, the, probably one of the best watercolour papers around. And you can do all sorts of wonderful things, but with this cheaper Fabriano, you can't. It has its limitation. Right, so there's my palette lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. There's a lot of paint on this palette now. Now, I've just ordered another six. I bought eight tubes um, a month or so ago, back in the end of October. Now I, I need to stock up for Christmas because it'll be difficult to get hold of anything over that time. So, a uh, bit of uh, burn number and an ultramarine. Nice, but on the blue side, so do it nicely mixed. It's a lovely grey and into that I'll put in some uh, sienna. The darker on the top over here there. Okay, let that uh, Percolate down. I'll put a bit of light in the sky though. Right, okay, I'll bring that all the way down. And let's get that bit heavier there. Next merging. Okay, I'll reclip the paper. <coughs> I'll back up all my stuff on the 
these hard drives. They're only 38 pounds curries. And they, two of them, well, they're probably room for several thousand videos, the way I'm going. Uh, right, okay, so let's put in some, some distant, distance. It's a little bit dry. Oh, a bit, a little bit wet. Sorry. Let's see if I can. It's drying from the bottom. Let's see if I can just fix that. Oh, well, hold your headphones. One. I don't want to dry completely. I don't want. So I still want the softness. Well, I just want that clipped out there. Right. Okay. So we'll start off with the with the background with the blue and coming across here. Uh, just coming up in in stages. Probably not thick enough. nice hump of uh, water at bay there of the cliffs and that comes down there so a bit of a bit of yellow Really nice, heavy. Okay. And then we've got a warmer but heavier. Just get that coming up there to nothing there. Okay, so there's some put some rocks in there. Okay. Just clean my brush. Right, we'll put in some of those colours in as a waves coming into there. Can keep these simple or well, simple as I can I can. So I have to 
put that back. And that dries a little bit. So the headlands won't be quite as accurate as they should be, but because of that, it's uh, uh, right. Well, anyway, let's uh, put in some. It's a bit of beachy stuff. A bit of sand merging. Burnt umber is a very, very good colour for sand. We can just put in some sky in that. I'm going to put in some heavier stuff under the uh, crashing waves, but well, let's just get some of this reflection of the sky and the and the wet. Then, as we into the warm up of the uh, sand, we can just put some of this back in. And when that dries a little bit, uh, well, I'm going to help it. Right, headphones off. On the waves. I'm not copying anything for these. I'm just uh, making them up. No waves in the photographs. But anyway, we don't copy the photographs, do we? Right. Go uh, back with those two colours: the burnt umber and the pink, and the uh, ultramarine. And we'll get our, get our distance. And then we want some harder edges just to, to show there's a road down. where the lady would be in there somewhere. Here we've just got this this headland and the road come, coming down here with a uh, lift out. There's a big hotel there, Walsh Bay Hotel. The Phoenix Pub's just around the corner, very appropriate for, for us thirsty grottles. Right, let's just get back there. A bit more detail in there. All rocks. Just creates an impression of of rocks. Okay. Right. 
that'll do. Um, so the rocks, well, rocks are rocks, let's put them in, in umber. And a bit of same simple colours. Let's just. some shadow. A bit darker than that, a bit thicker. Oops. Now we, some some of these uh, will have rock pools. These are rocks, um, and with this little bit of a shadow in, or reflection, so I think. Never know where the some of the hay. Shadow in there. Reflection, sorry, not shadow. Makes a change from using the card, but uh, we can if, it's, if we've still got some. Yeah, we've still got some little bits of. That's a little bit of detail on there. Okay, that's it. <coughs> right, now we need to do something with this, with these waves here. So I see what colour I've got on the brush. A bit of darker. Now I'm going to lift out, well, I'm just going to dry that off and I'm going to lift out some crashing and surf my can. Just, just for speed, really. Right, uh, clean it up, I and that's just sort of enough will lift out, but. Put some, uh, some darker bits in to show the shadow in there.
There's some bad weather down here. I can't remember too many storms over. What do you call that? A storm. really going to work is it so you can always use the the glass trick right let's just put in some some of the uh, It's a bit of that uh, stormy reflections in it in here. Oh, just a bit dark. No, I'd have to go back to school to learn how to do waves. Uh, I'll put it in a couple of things. That's, that's not very good. Oh. Well, while I'm at it, I can uh, just lift out some the, the Water Bay Hotel, which is just making a sort of an appearance here somewhere. But it is there, it's further down the hill. But, uh, right. We tow a trailer down to this part of the world most years to Watergate, to, it was called Watergate Bay, but um, we go up this hill along the headland, back inland, and it's about, about three quarters of a mile. It's quite a steep walk down here, as you can see. Uh, right, well, I can't say I've made a great job of that. Let me just, just get that. Uh, I'll put a couple, and that's dry now, I'll put a couple of figures in anyway, give it a bit of scale. Standing at the edge of the uh, okay, uh, not a lot of seaweed or anything on this. It's all the all the junk and the detritus is up, is up here at high tide. There's a big cafe around here, and a lot of the beach waste comes comes from there but um, a lot of it's washed up from elsewhere of course it's a privately owned beach I believe but it really is lovely 
We've had so many lovely holidays here. Right, well, I'll, I'll let that go. There's not much more I could do with it. We'll put a couple of birds in, a couple of seagulls. Well, seagulls. Aha! Seagulls, which are white. Where's my, where's my, which is great, there it is. Right, let's just get that soft. We're going to get it soft enough. Probably not. Okay. All right, goals. Well, let's put it in a mount and I'll sign it. But <coughs> oh, excuse me, that, I don't think it's a very good one. But, but everyone is brings you closer to the masterpiece. This is totally original, nobody's ever done this one before. It's not accurate by any means. Water's not so good. But I'll put it in the blue mount. So it's all right, it's done all I can say for it. Let's uh, zoom in. Okay, zoom in. So there are my birds. Look, nice dark sky to counter change them. So that's the that's the road down to the bay, and that's the cliff. It's very very crumbly. This cliff, and after months of rain, it tends to slide onto the beach. So it's not a good idea to go sunbathing at the foot of these because all these rocks that are, are around they, they, they were part of the cliffs there's a constant coastal erosion it's not solid granite like it is further further down anyway it's not too bad thanks for watching bye bye